Right, I am here today with Miss Hannah. Young lady, how are you? Good. God bless, right? Better. Better, right? Yeah. Now we, we've been talking, so we've got we've got a lot here. We have Elodalos mm -hmm. and uh, vascular variety. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so um, why don't you tell people, I already know what it is, but in your terms, how do you understand that as a uh, as a Hannah? As a human being. What do you mean? Well, allodalus is a soft affects. tissue disorder, yeah. but yeah, kind of like a mix between not a dictionary definition, but how it affects you. Um, it actually helped me um, be a good gymnast, but I didn't know that I had it. So now um, it's made me more conscious of my body mm. and to figure out like how everything I've done and having that disease has led to the chronic pain that I experience yeah. on a daily basis. So hypermobility. Yeah. Yeah, hypermobility. And dislocation of my shoulders, hips. Yeah. Yeah. And then having the vascular variety as well, meaning it affects your blood vessels. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the type of person, amazing, amazing young woman. Um, we got to take really good care, right? And you've been around the block to a few docs. <laughs> I have, and then I just stopped going altogether yeah. because I was sick of bad news and prescriptions, yep. and I'm just not going to be a victim of the pharmaceutical market. Like it just seemed like I was yeah. not important. So, would it be fair to say that you lost a little bit of hope? I lost a lot of hope because yeah. I started doing epidurals and. I mean, I just kept being told there's no cure for this disease, yeah. like this is it, and you're just gonna be getting more crippled the older you get. Yeah. So like, whatever you wanna do, do it now, because like... Well, and on that note, how many uh, <laughs> skydive jumps have you made? 17. 17 skydive jumps. Okay, so 17 yeah. jumps. I uh, had to like go to a doctor to get um, like extra permission because I have dislocated my shoulders. And wow. when you fall, like, there's a good chance that can happen. So. Yeah. <laughs> and you've, Hopefully you've, not with the army pull in. Yeah, and you've also, uh, you had a rough landing too one time, didn't you? I had to take a downwind area. Yeah. And I lost a molar. Yeah. Because of it. That. So back to uh, the story here. As you can see, not only does she have a soft tissue disorder that affects the pliability of her joints and her ligaments, we've done a thorough exam. She's you know, jumped out of a plane more times, uh, a good working plane more times than I'd like to. Uh, and usually my landings are like amazing. Amazing, so, yeah. okay. But one of them was rough. One, yeah. But yeah. I like follow the procedures, so it's yeah, like, yeah. all good. So, and you're here. Yeah. God bless, right? <laughs> so we're here, we're working. Now, um, some of the symptoms you've had are things like hand numbness in both hands. Yeah. Leg, all sorts of numbness. All sorts of numbness yeah. in the thigh. My thigh's been numb for like five or six months. Okay. And like then my entire thigh. Entire left thigh, yeah. right? And then the feet. Yeah, my feet get numb um, randomly and then I get like shooting pains down my legs. Like mm -hmm. it feels like it, I, that started after the epidurals though. So I really think that that was caused by them because when they, when they do it, depending on what they hit, what nerve, like all of a sudden you get shocked and it's like intense. It's a very intense and procedure. And you have to hold still because they're yeah. in your spinal cord. Yeah, so it's, like, it's an intense procedure that can help a lot of people and there's obviously yeah. other potentials there. It um, did help me too, I just couldn't feel my back. Like, so it was good and bad. Understood. Because I was sick of being in pain, like it's exhausting. So. Yeah, yeah. Pain, pain is is not a way to live preferably. Yeah. Now, on a positive note, since we saw you, or the last time we saw you, you went from having low back pain to not. Yeah. How's that been? I had two adjustments and had like no, it, like I was sore from the adjustment, but not the pain that I feel, not, not the, the dull aching. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was like the kind of pain that I know is good pain. Yes. Healing pain. And, and on that note, I always like to mention that, again, with a good thing, yeah. healing does go through ups and downs. So when yeah. we have a flare-up or when we have a major breakthrough, which is like no pain, that's a breakthrough, it's important to remember that. That's why we, we yeah. put people on corrective care plans. We also had that you hadn't had to self-adjust, crack your own neck, right? And I that was stopped doing, like, cracking my back and my neck. Yeah. yeah. 
blessings. Because I don't want to mess up my adjustments. And your, you had, as of last time I saw you, no numbness in the left fingers, but the right you still had. Well, it went from being, yeah, yeah different fingers. Different fingers, okay. Yeah. Now, we've been adjusting your neck very gently to start, mm -hmm. doing a ton of muscle rehab, mid and low back adjustments like normal, and then just this morning you had some double vision. Yeah, but well, the last time I had a really bad headache, so like, those mm -hmm. went away. Oh, yeah, the headache, oh my gosh. So she came like, in, Hannah came days, in yeah. with like a horrible headache. Yeah. Yeah, like bad, debilitating. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was, I don't have headaches, so like I told you, I'd yeah. rather break my leg. <laughs> yeah, with Hannah, I'm like, no, don't say that. <laughs> So the headache went away, which is phenomenal. Now what we're gonna do is a run through, and we're gonna just go through everything because you just need that level. So yeah. you face that way for me. Keep the legs down, sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna sit right next to you, so scoot over a little bit. And I'm gonna sit right here. Hands go right here, and palms up like that. And scoot forward just a little bit. And then chest up, okay? And then your head's gonna come down. Go ahead and push your head into my hand, push. Good. And then head all the way down head halfway to the left, push down, beautiful, better than last time, all the way down, all the way to the left, and then push down that way, ready, go, beautiful, much better than last time, it's awesome that that's holding, hold there, push down, excellent, and then all the way down, all the way to the right, and then push down, push, 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 Beautiful. You're not trying to lose that either. <laughs> Look straight ahead. We'll go here to your levator scap. So you're going to have your hand in this position. Your elbow pulls in, but first drop your shoulder down and look that way towards the that nice piece over there. Pull your elbow in. Pull, 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 pull. Beautiful. That one relaxes. You're going to hand here, elbow down, shoulder down. Look that way. Pull in. Pull, pull, pull with your elbow. Excellent. And look straight ahead. So that's holding, which is beautiful. Uh, breathe in, and out. Upper thoracic is really stuck there. So you're gonna stand up facing the Van Nuys Beach over there, and head down for me. We're gonna do the upper back to start. Squeeze down Miss Hannah. A little tiny bit harder. Yeah, like that way. Breathe in. Keep squeezing, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fall back. Beautiful, fall again. We're gonna Okay, hands down, breathe in and out, shoulders relax. Now go ahead and lay onto your back. So your neck muscles actually held from last time, which is awesome. Hands at your side like they are. Your legs here, I'm gonna pull this way, you don't oh, let me. I forgot me. to tell you, this hip is yeah. really hurting me and like this is the hip that usually hurts me, uh -huh. but it's like this, like this whole side. The whole side. Yeah, it's not like the hip bone, so this it's really not right my here. hip. It's like, yeah, it's this. Okay, we'll, Whatever we'll go this there. Bone is. I got you. That That's actually, believe it or not, that's the hip bone. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, pull your legs to the left. That's okay, though. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, so yeah. try again. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, so not firing. So you stay right there. I know it's funny because we yeah, all kind of think, we all kind of, yeah, we all think of it as the, the hip up here. Pull your legs to the left again. Pull. Okay, tighten your abs. Come on up. And we're going to lay on your tummy now. So we're going to do some work and scoot up here so your face is on the rest. Shoulders and hips relaxed. We're going to just lift this up a little bit. So we're going to dig into the lower back. You okay here? Yeah. Breathe. Do the bones Yeah. Yeah. It's not necessarily that comfortable. And out. Yeah, keep breathing. And anytime I'm doing any muscle rehab like this, you're going to want to ice that area. So this is the quadratus lumborum. Okay, now you're going to breathe in. All the way out. Stop breathing at the end. No breath in and no help. So we're going to do a counter strain here. Breathe and relax. Hips relaxed. Okay, foot relaxed. Get some motion into this foot here. Beautiful. Give this foot a good stretch. Wow. 
stuck. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, same good motion there. Now you're gonna lay on your back, Miss Hannah. Go right ahead. And we're gonna get into that hip flexor. So hand over here. Have you ever had this worked on? I don't know. In here? Yeah. Okay. So this is the psoas. We're gonna bring this leg down. Hips relaxed. Are you okay in here? Mm -hmm. So it was more tender on the other side where I had the hernia surgery. Understood. And so one of the key things that we're doing is asking your body what needs correcting. So whether we're working on, my man, good to see you, sir. Whether we're working on muscle imbalances or adjustments, just giving your body what it really needs. Hips relaxed. Are you okay here? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring this leg down here. Scoot your hips to the right for me. Scoot that way, yep. Hips relaxed. There we go. Hands off the body, slide towards your head a little bit. Slide up the table. Okay, we're gonna pull the legs to the left again. Go right ahead, pull. Beautiful, you see the difference? How yeah. it can hold? Yeah. Pull your legs to the right. Pull, pull, pull. Thank you. <laughs> pull again, pull. Yeah, it's actually holding well. And then you're gonna lay onto your side. Let's go this way, facing me here. You're welcome. Uh, we're going to slide up so your head's on the rest, Miss Hannah. We're going to bend here. You relax, I'll move you. Like so. And we're going to breathe in. And out. And breath in. Let your hips roll this way. Shoulders relax. Wow. Big motion. Yeah, it's like almost it's huge, that right? <laughs> Okay, now what we're gonna do is, let's go face down. So we're actually gonna lay onto your tummy now, Miss Hannah. And let's have a slow, deep breath in. And out. One more, just like that. And out. And then breathe in. Hold your breath, lift your head up like you're looking at the wall. And out. And shoulders relax. Beautiful. So yeah. tight down here yeah. <laughs> through your thoracolumbar. We're gonna lay face up again. So sometimes depending on how we're gonna adjust you, we gotta keep moving to these different positions. This time you're gonna tighten your abs where you are, sit up. We're gonna cross our arms like this. We're gonna go here. Head forward. Hold yourself up here. We're gonna breathe. Hold yourself up. Arms a little lower. And lower and breathe in. And breathe out and fall back. Fall, 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 fall. There we go. Well, what? Yeah, so that was the T12 vertebrae. And just based on your biomechanics and how yeah. tight you were, it was difficult to get with you face down. Yeah. So we did a different type it of It feels like it loosened up that area so much. Yeah. Like I can feel it. Yeah. It, you know, it, it oftentimes feels like you can breathe more. Yeah. Because the T12 vertebrae is right where the diaphragm is. Yeah. And when that vertebrae is out of alignment, you get a reflex where it tightens everything up in that area. Yeah. We're going to slide up this way now. Head relax right now. Right you feel on the right side? Yeah. Okay. okay. Switch, switch sides. It's okay. It's okay. It's a very, very complex situation that you've been dealing with for a long time. A little moving. <laughs> no, that felt like a bruise. That's one of the spines that you touched. Mm -hmm. Like over. Tender, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do a very gentle adjustment in your upper back here, and then we're gonna use the... It gives me a headache. Right there when we move like that? Yeah. Wow. Like so. right shooting up this way into the back of my eye, right where it was. Yeah, so she's giving me some really good hints. So, breathe, you know. Tighten those abs again, give me your hands here. Come on up. And let's lay face down. You just gave me a really good hint 
um, what your body may be doing. So we're gonna yeah, on your tummy. Yeah, totally in the back of my head. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And this is important an important combo because we didn't adjust her. Her body flares up when we touch an area. So we know that that's an area that needs attention. Straighten your arm out really straight. Thumb up. Push up here. Push. And struggling. Hips relaxed, shoulders relaxed. I'm gonna hold in here, Lo loosen the shoulder. Now hold it up, push. Beautiful, so let go. We're gonna dig in here a little bit. This is the upper back, the upper thoracic. Is that too much, Anna? Mm -hmm. Okay, breathe through. So your body has been through so much, both from the condition that you've had from the gymnastics, <laughs> the skydiving. Back riding. Yes. And what was that you were telling me? Uh, riding. And didn't you say you had a whiplash the other day? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unplanned. Unplanned, okay. Care, do you care to share any details <laughs> about this? Uh, Not that one. <laughs> Not that one, okay. So we're gonna remain a little bit anonymous with this one. Would you say it was fairly significant? Yeah, it was in a car. Okay, there we go. Um, is the car still in one piece? Yes, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so, this happens many times where... Like, I thought there was no chance it was, though. Understood. Like, close call. Really close. Really close call. So here we are on a, on a Thursday and people come in sometimes and I saw them on, let's say, a Tuesday in this case. <laughs> and uh, how's your week going? Really good. Oh, by the way, had a, a really severe whiplash. Breathe and out. Okay, you're going to put your right hand on your back. And yeah, we're going to move it over like that. I'm going to sit right here next to you. I'm going to hold the shoulder. We're going to breathe in and out. No breathing. Breathe in, relax. Give a little squeeze here to the traps. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna lay onto your back now, please. You doing okay, my dear? Yeah. Okay. Move my head up here. Now. You're fine. You're fine. You're gonna open the shoulder. Are you okay with my hand here? Steps are right there. So this is the opposing well, area. Yeah, like I haven't lifted anything. I've been taking it easy and icing. Except for the whiplash. Mm, yeah, a lot of the whiplash. Okay, stay right here. I'm just gonna grab a circle and did it, is it still there in the back of your head or did it calm down? Um, I can feel it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like residual effects of that. Uh-huh. But this hip is bothering me. Slide up this way. I'm gonna do a little bit of myofascial work in the front of the neck. You okay here? Do you want me to take my sweatshirt off? Oh good, thank you for asking. You relax. As much as possible. <laughs> you okay there? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's right there. Yeah. So your body has been doing its best to keep tabs on you. I have a really long neck too, I think. I think you have a really high pain tolerance. Yeah. It's like, this feels good. Like, I know it's helping. Yeah. yeah. And we want to get to the point, and that's why we do such a thorough exam, where we can deliver regular adjustments in your neck without concern of it flaring you up. But right now, as I mentioned to you earlier this week, I'd rather err on the side of lightness and caution and help you to get properly aligned mm -hmm. and healed. Shoulders relax. You okay in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this doesn't bother me at all. Amazing. So we're on her C2. We're using a spring-loaded instrument because with her ligamentous and soft tissue condition and the potential for flare-up, we have to take it easy and acclimate her nervous system. To 
change. Head relaxed. Now, hands at your side again, my dear. Legs down. You pull your legs to the right. Pull, pull, pull. Now we have the same thing on the right side. Surprise, surprise, right? Pull your legs to the right again. That's what I'm used to. Pull. Yeah. So we're going to go to tighten your ass. Come on up. Now lay on your tummy again. Hips relax. So many people have used their bodies thoroughly. Isn't that right, Hannah? Mm -hmm. What would you say it's like? I mean, you've been to so many docks, been through so much pain. Um, what, would you, what would you tell somebody out there that's kind of lost hope like yourself? Or had been? I would tell them to seek out natural medicine first. Hmm. Breathe and through pay this. Attention to their body. Pay attention to their body. Are you okay here? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, I have a high pain tolerance and then I That hurts. back again, dear. Hips relax. We're going to go in here now. Put this hand right here. Right there. So sit. Hip flex on the right side. You can feel how tight it is. Yeah, it's so sore. It's like right next to where they cut me for that surgery. And well, then I think the mesh is like actually like a little lower, but it's like right there. I just saw online that if you had a surgery after 2006, the mesh is recalled, which I did. Oh boy. But my mesh hasn't given me any issues, I don't think. Not that I got it right. Let's get your hips to the left now. You okay in here? Yeah, it doesn't even feel like a stretch. I can feel the tension, but I'm glad it doesn't hurt. Foot relaxed. Small movement. Yeah, your, your body's been through so much. Foot relaxed. I felt it move already. Almost. Look at that. It just, yeah, it moved a little tiny bit. Let me give that one a break. Yeah. Breathe deep. And out. Can you hamstring curl? Push back. Hamstring curl. Okay, both legs down. Breathe for me. Just gonna check something this minute. We're gonna work our way into the traction slowly. Okay. Go ahead and come on to your right side facing me this way. Go. I'm gonna bend here. Hips relaxed. Here, shoulders loose, big breath in, all the way out, shoulders loose, hips relaxed, right there. Wow. I told you. <laughs> that I, one really needed it. Tighten your house, come on up. Okay. So you're going to ice right here. That was here. my hip too and everything. Like it, on the they moved a lot. And the inside, that was amazing. Right here and right here, you're going to ice those areas we dug in on. Okay. Again, we're going to ease you into traction. You're gonna ice the upper back where we dug in right there. Okay. And then ice as needed, about 20 minutes. Okay. And then next time we shall go a little bit more. Okay, thank you. Thank you for trusting me, yeah, it's a pleasure. Last thing I'm gonna ask you because I really want other people to know what's out there. And, and this is um, not so much about me, but I want other people to know what to look for. How would you relate the care you've had here. This is your third visit, right? Yeah. How would you relate the care you've had here in just three visits to care you've had elsewhere? I would um, relate it to the care that I had in Europe, if anything. They actually spent time with me. It wasn't crazy expensive that you couldn't mm -hmm. invest in yourself. It's your health. Yeah. Um, and just the time and 
mm -hmm. like you can really feel that you care. So, Lessons. I mean, my pain management doctor, I said this last night, he used to walk in and say, where's the pain? He wouldn't even look at me, no eye contact. Where's the pain? Lidocaine injection, which makes no sense. It's a couple hours. But like, these are the hoops I had to jump through to like, because they, I was dependent on the medicine they were giving me. It's so hard, and it right? made it awful, yeah. So it changed hard. a lot of things, but also I learned that pain is also, it's it's not just what's happened to your body, it's what's happened to you emotionally mm. and physically. And so it's really important to understand wow. that you, you it manifests itself in different parts of your body. So yeah. you have to meditate, do yoga. Wow. Like there's a lot of things you have to do. Yes. And this is definitely one of them. <laughs> It's that whole healthy living thing, right? Yeah. It's crazy, you know, you, she's so on it. It's, you know, you, sometimes people want to just do one thing or, you know, yoga's great, but alone it's, it's yeah. you know, it's, it's yoga. Yeah. Chiropractic's great, but we need other things yeah. too. So yeah. uh, I'm happy to be here with you. I am glad that I yeah. got introduced to you. <laughs> Can't believe it took this long. So I know, have, like, right? We have uh, we have some very mutual connections, um, but you're here and we're yeah. working, and it is. Thank you. It's you're welcome. It's a pleasure, and uh, but step by step, like I said, healing goes through ups and like, downs. Like it's incredible that I don't feel lower back pain. That like I, 15 years. The body can the body like, heal? Fetal position. Yes, I know the body can heal. Like I I I found this out recently. Your 30s are all about like self discovery, out. right? Yeah, like you're like, oh, okay. You're like actually new levels of self understanding. I'm like self sufficient here. Like hey. I'm looking outside and like here I am and like I've got everything I need. So. That's so true about the 30s, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I love it. I love, it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you again, dude. Thank you so much. Oh,